Hey everybody, Scott here from G-System Videos. I am back with another video and today it is Throwback Thursday. For the first time really because the last one happened on a Friday so it kind of doesn't count. Mm, I don't really see it as counting. So today I am going to reimagine Rush's distant early warning. Why not? You know, what the hell? It's a fun part and, uh, and pretty easy to get a really cool tone out of the G-System with this one. So this is a slam dunk, yo. More of a layup, actually. Let's go. All right, let's see what's going on with this one. First, we have the 666 sustaining compressor. I got to tell you, I use it on all of my presets now, and I thoroughly enjoy it. As far as uh, a reverb, mm, as uh, Robin Ford likes to say, I'm using a spring, a spring, a marvelous thing. That's how I've got that set. Round, shape, medium size, high color, bright, level eight, low color, thin, level zero. And the early reflections, distant early reflections are negative 12 dB. Reverb level negative 3, diffusion 10, and mix of 15. The delay, I tapped it out. I'm doing eighth notes. And I'm using the tape delay. It's it's my favorite delay. So 9 out of 10 times, more like 19 out of 20 times, I'm going to be using the tape delay. I've adjusted the cuts. And there's that. Here's how I'm, where I'm departing from the original. I am using the pitch shifter, not the detune. Negative 9. Panned straight up the middle because I'm using a single cabinet now, a single amp. And uh, put a little delay on it. Feedback 22. Mix of 18. The modulation is, of course, the classic chorus. It's my favorite chorus. So, you know, a horse is a horse, of course, of course. That's what I use. What are you going to do? And uh, I changed the speed on this one from the original. And uh, the mix is up there. Now, I have the radial tone bone hot British in loop two. I'm flipping you off. Again, look at me go. And in number three is the ISP decimator G-string. Uh, I'm not doing any EQing on this one. The EQing is all coming from my amp. It's set up fairly flat. And uh, yeah, you'll see the guitar in a second when you see the guy with the guitar. Let's go to the guy with the guitar. Hey, everybody, it's me. I'm going to show you how this part goes. We've got the sound part down. I'm using the radial tone bone hot British for my overdrives. Got the ISP decimator G-string in loop three. So uh, the sound is taken care of. Now here's the part. It's not so hard to play. Now, uh, I'm going to break this bit down for you. It's pretty easy. The uh, opening chord is like a C9, but with an A in the root. Just play it right here. Say you're going to do a C9. Just lift off that little bit and play an A. There you go. And then it goes to the C9. Then up to the G9 at the 10th fret. Then it does this weird A-ish chord. It's got a lot of A's in it. There's one, two, three A's, a G, and a C. So where the fuck that is? And uh, then we pump on this. Bum, 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 bum. Pump on the G. Dun, 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 dun. Pump on this weird A chord. Dun, 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 dun. Roll up a sleeve. And then this part that moves is on the weird A chord here. I don't want to call it. Just 
just lifting your pinky uh, down from the G to the uh, whatever this is, the uh, F sharp to the E. Yeah, yeah, G F sharp E. Just, just walk it down. And then uh, we go F to G, and I'm playing the uh, chords without the uh, low uh, lowest note. And then back to the C9 with an A in it. I guess that'd be a C9 over A. I'm not really a theory guy, just to let you know. Um, I figure out everything by listening to it and, uh, and or by copying people. I'll watch them, see how they do something, and then just try and figure it out by trying to copy their fingers. It's just how I roll. So there's that. Other big news. I am now on Twitter, G System. Follow me at, at G System Videos. I have a Facebook page just for G System Videos. There will be a link in the description. So do those things. I will have exclusive content on the Facebook page. The Twitter will uh, basically just chronicle all the shit that I'm doing. And then I'll, you know, also retweet people that I follow, some people that I like, like Richie Kotzen, Guthrie Govan, Alan Holdsworth, uh, Paul Gilbert. Nick Johnston? Hmm? Heard of that guy? Steven Schackinger? Greg Koch? All the greats, man. Yo? Yo? Green beans, yo! Oh, sorry. Anyway, uh, that is that for today. Throwback Thursday. Oh, good times. I will be back tomorrow. And uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be a free set or a demo of the Mojo Mojo. Hmm. One or the other. Come on back. Find out. Rock on.